Hey there, my name's Emmett Baber, and I'm from Fidgets to Widgets, where we use video games to teach kids. Today, I'm here to tell you why you should let your kid play Card Hunter. Card Hunter is a tongue-in-cheek, turn-based, co-op, or single-player game that is quick to learn and has enormous depth. It firmly plants itself in the deep nerd camp by combining mechanics from deck-building card games and tabletop role-playing games. These guys really utilize the strengths of their format to enrich the play experience. What I mean is that when playing tabletop D&D, there are appendices, charts, tables, and compendiums offering the player choices, and it can be incredibly daunting for new characters. Meanwhile, the process of keeping track of three decks of cards and three hands of cards would be cumbersome in real life, but when the computer keeps it tidy for you, the result is a very streamlined experience. You start with a party of three adventurers. Your choices are wizard, cleric, and warrior, which each come in human, elf, and dwarf flavors. Each class has a starting deck that consists of movement cards, action cards, and equipment cards. Each round starts with each player drawing five cards from their deck, and each side takes turns playing cards until both sides pass and draw again. When victorious, you collect loot and items which you can sell or equip to your characters. By equipping boots, you may trade out your walk cards for some hybrid movement and attack cards. I played a dwarf wizard in co-op mode with two friends and was constantly surprised by the variation of mechanics in play. A wide variety of enemies and a diverse environments make the scenarios challenging, while the ever-expanding table of loot drops makes your strategies to take them on just as diverse. Hybrid cards, reactive armor, all add to the fun. The game is free to play as well. There are DLC content packs and a membership service that gets you extra loot. This is loads of fun to play in single player or co-op modes and is a great way to introduce probability, the concept of value, the place of utility, and differences of kind and differences of scale. So if you want a meticulously crafted game where every fight is like a puzzle that you have to solve, I highly recommend Card Hunter.